Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. We're at the Americans for Prosperity Ride Online uh, simulcasting booth at the Dallas Convention for the Texas Republican Party. We appreciate you joining us. This afternoon, we're interviewing all the candidates for state Republican Party chairman. Uh, the first to join us today is Tom Meckler. Tom, thanks for joining ben, us. Appreciate you. it. Thanks to uh, all of you for having me today. Thank you. And, and Tom, tell us a little bit about your background. What part of Texas are you from? Well, currently my wife and I live in Amarillo, just outside of Amarillo. But I was raised outside of San Antonio toward Castroville. And uh, you have a background in the oil and gas industry, is that correct? Tell us a little bit about uh, you know what you've been doing the last 20 years and how you ended up here. Well, when I'm not volunteering, obviously, um, I started out in the, uh, I've got an undergrad engineering degree from and went to work for Atlantic Richfield, which is an oil company. Sure. Spent uh, 10 years in Alaska, or seven years in Alaska, worked for them for 10 years. I have my own oil and gas business now, small um, operating company, do a lot of gas contract negotiating, auditing for little independent producers, also do some real estate work. So tell, tell us what you think about the drilling ban while we're on the subject of the oil and gas industry, and we'll get to party politics in a second. I, I think this is a very disastrous situation down the Gulf that has been uh, created basically by a lack of oversight by the federal government in some very treacherous waters. And now they are compounding compounding the problem by basically destroying the economy of the, of the industry down in the Gulf. One company makes a mistake. You shut down everybody. That doesn't make like it doesn't make very much sense to me. It seems like the ones that are doing it right should be commended and should be allowed to continue. Well, uh, as uh, you probably would agree, I think uh, this uh, convention is occurring in sort of in the midst of a lot of election turmoil and voter dissatisfaction about uh, the way things are being run. Tell us what you think the uh, major challenges are for the state Republican Party of Texas. I think the obviously the the, the one that first comes to mind is the finances of the party. They, there's got to be a different approach to, to reform that situation, uh, but I think that that is a symptom of a bigger problem. I think that the lack of finances, the debt issue, is, is an indication that the party itself is not functioning the way it needs to be functioning. Uh, we've, I've looked uh, for 18 months, I've looked at the different groups that have worked around the party. My concern, my alarm has been that we've lost uh, so many seats in the state house. We've gone from 88, went to 76, went back up to 76. Seven. To me, that's a barometer of a big problem that we have lost ground. We know that the Democrats have targeted the state of Texas to try and make it red, from, uh, to make it blue from red. Uh, they have poured millions and millions of dollars into the state, and our party is ill prepared to address that fight. So we've got to re we've got to reform our party. We've got to, I believe, we've got to go back and bring all of our team back together and put out a welcome sign and say, "You are welcome here. We don't have to agree with everything that everybody says." I would think that in our party, 90% of the delegates, 90% of the elected officials, we probably, or I'm sorry, we probably all agree on 90% of the issues. It's the 10% that we have a tendency to focus on, and that has become very divisive. I think that has got to change, and we need to focus on what brings us together as a party. Once that begins to happen, we need to focus on, we need to shift down and start working with our county parties and rebuild them from the bottom up, other than not just say that we are a grassroots party. We ought to start acting like a grassroots party and say, look, if the grassroots are really as important as we say they are, then the party's focus will be down at the bottom of this organization to say it's the delegates, it's the precinct chairs, it's the county chairman. They're the ones that are really the most important. We will pour tremendous resources into that effort to help them be successful. Well, you came up through the sort of the party uh, chair, the, the ranks. Tell us a little bit about your background and sure. working with the uh, state or local party, I guess, first local, then county, then uh, yes. state party. Politics. You've been doing it a long time. I have. I, I started. Uh, I first worked in my first campaign uh, 26 years ago in Alaska, and I served four years uh, in. Wasilla. Now, did I read some? Yeah, I thought I read I somewhere where uh, you came from the same or lived at some point the same town as uh, Governor Sarah Palin. I did. And usually, when I tell people I worked in Wasilla or as a party chair, we all Wasilla, know where that is now. I right? don't know where Wasilla is. And they say, right. "Well, do you know Sarah Palin?" Before they can ask the question, I said, "Actually, I never met the fine woman." The uh, uh, she, she got involved in 92 in the city commission, and I had left to get my MBA at the Wharton Business School in 1990. 
So I and, and they don't semester. pass those out, I might add. No, so, it's, yeah. 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 It's, it, was a, it was an interesting challenge. It was a tremendous commitment on our part, to financial commitment and education-wise. But it's been a great experience. My degree's in finance, as you probably are aware. Um, but that's when I started in the Grand Street's politics, was up in Alaska, and came back to Texas in 92, came back home, and in 93 became a county chairman in uh, Pampa, a small community outside of Amarillo, and basically was involved with rebuilding that party from the bottom up. He did the same thing in Wasilla, and then after uh, I left there in 2000, went to uh, Armstrong County and held our first uh, first county convention ever been held and rebuilt that party from the bottom up and then got on the state executive committee uh, served there for four years um, then left the uh, ex left the party management le left leadership in the party except for the state conventions that i've been involved in and uh, governor perry appointed me to the board of criminal justice which you're probably familiar with it's a three billion yeah, dollar very familiar agency. with um i know I used to know the chairman fairly well yes. he moved on to other things so. yeah so i and now I'm, i serve as a vice chairman so i'm right. the second highest ranking person in the largest agency in texas well you certainly have a very experienced and deep background 